Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel, it's Sabrina. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I basically clean up my edges from my braids. So this is what my edges are looking like right now. I have had my braids in for three weeks at this point in this video and they don't look all that cute. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and separate the first two braids in each row and just get them sectioned out because those are the only braids that I'm going to be freshening up. Of course, you can go as far back as you would like. This is completely up to you and all optional. I'm just here to help. So the product that I'll be using is the Miss Jessie's Multicultural Clear Gel. You can use whichever gel you would like. I like this one because it does not flake and I like how liquidy it is. So I'm going to be using basically just a pea-sized amount of gel for each section and I'm just going to go ahead and basically smooth it onto that section and make sure I get all the hairs surrounding that braid and then I'm just going to take it and twist the hair as if you were doing a bantu knot, just doing a twist. If you've ever redone dreads for someone before, it's the same motion. Now, it may look a little tight in this video, but I promise it was not tight at all. I really just twist the braid about two or three times around, just as much as my new growth will allow me. So again, um, you just make sure you just get enough product on there that's going to keep all the hairs intact. Gather it really nice and secure and just twist it around. Sometimes I will only do one or two twists. Sometimes I can do more, like again, just depending on the new growth. So my hair um, was just cleansed earlier, so it's very moisturized. I had oiled my scalp already. If your hair is dry, you may want to use a moisturizer. So it's whatever you need to do. Um, you don't want to put gel on your hair and it's already dry. It may um, break your hair. It can break your hair. So just make sure your hair is moisturized um, below the gel. It really, really will make a difference. So you want to make sure that you don't do this too often um, because like I said, this is the motion that you typically would do to um, retwist dreads. No one's trying to grow dreads here. So you want to make sure your hair is moisturized so that your hair doesn't stick together and that you're not doing this too often. And um, if you are someone that is going to keep up with this on a weekly basis, then you may just want to make sure that you are washing out all the product before doing it again. You want to loosen up your hair so your hair doesn't lock up. So this is what one side of my hair looks like. Um, huge difference from the other side of my hair. So yeah, it's very easy, so simple. I absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this method around on YouTube before, but I just wanted to come here and show you guys my method. So this is the finished look. This is what my hair is looking like. And it still looks like this like almost two weeks later. It really does hold in place, especially with the gel that I used. So yeah, I hope this video helps you guys and make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps me out you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.